Hey guys, what's up? It's Miss Cameron and Mrs. Rocha. We're back again, and this time it's just Miss Rocha and I, and we are gonna do a little creative activity today. So no, we're not gonna be blindfolded. No, we're not gonna be tasting anything. We're not gonna be smelling anything. We're actually gonna go outside. So if you remember last summer, we did a tie-dye video. It's gotten a lot of views, um, but this time we are going to try hydro dipping some sandals. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of Crocs be hydro dipped. You can hydro dip anything. Um, you can hydro dip. We're gonna hydro dip these. Today. Yes, we got these at five below. We've already um, taped off the bottom. That way our soles don't get colored. Um, but you can hydro dip shoes, um, Yeti cups, bike helmets. Um, it originally was for cars. Um, what else can you hydro dip? Uh, the video that I watched, they talked about helmets, and then this guy hydro dipped white vans. Oh. So shoes, like how Miss Cameron said. Um, I don't know what else, but I feel like you could just hydro dip anything yeah. as long as it held paint. Yeah. Um, but that comes to our our first question. So I'm gonna let Miss Rocha talk about some properties of Crocs. Um, these are Miss Cameron's Crocs. They're a little beat up. I've had them for over a year they're a little dirty but these are so rigid and durable they form to your feet i love crocs personally yes. myself um also so the properties that miss cameron is talking about is that they are waterproof so that in the scientific word is hydrophobic hydro meaning water phobic means afraid scared so the water is going to be repelling off and the opposite of that is hydrophilic, which is hydro water philic, meaning love. So like a paper towel is hydrophilic. It's going to absorb that water. So um, that's just the properties of Crocs. And you'll find that on rain shoes, um, umbrellas, rain jackets, and all those fun rain things. Rain boots. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. So what's cool about Crocs is they started in 2002. Um, they actually started at a boat show in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. They originally sold 200 pairs just that weekend. And since 2002, so it's been 19 years, they have sold over 300 million pairs of Crocs. That's a lot of Crocs. I have about three pairs of those. Um, I've had about two, three pairs my whole lifetime. This is a, my third pair, I think, but I'm really looking into getting some more. <laughs> so while, while we still have the crock out, I'm going to talk about what it's made of. So it is made of something called cross light. It is a polymer, so it's not a rubber nor a plastic, um, sort of a resin. And so these crocs, they form to your feet almost like Birkenstocks. So if you have Birkenstocks at home, when you get those, they're very flat. They're not broken, so you have to wear them for about two weeks, and then they start to break in, and they, you can actually see in the bottom of the Birkenstock that it has the imprint of your foot. And so that's why they say don't share Birkenstocks because it's copying your footprint down into that. And same thing with these Crocs. So with these Crocs, they are shockproof. They're very lightweight. Um, I have seen kids use them as water shoes, things like that. that. Um, so it is also kind of a insulated shoe. I've seen nurses wear these. Um, very slip resistant. Um, I wonder if you could wear them in the the food industry because the food industry has to have non-slip yes, shoes. Right. Um, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you couldn't really wear these though because no, they, they have to holes. Be closed -toed. So yeah. yes, closed toe shoes in the food industry. Um, but we are going to try today to hydro dip these. So these are not croc, they're, they're not crocs, but they're the same material, that cross light material, and we are going to try to hydro dip these. We bought these at five below for five bucks. Um, I didn't really want to spend the $40 on a pair of crocs. Um, Miss Rocha didn't either. Um, in case something were to go wrong, so this is going to take probably 36 hours, so you're going to see some different shots in the video and things, but we're going to try to hydro dip these. So we have our spray paints here. We are going to be using this WikiHow how to um, dye croc shoes. Um, I got this off of the internet and it has been printed multiple times according to their website. Um, and there's a bunch of references in the back um, for videos that you can use to dye your own crocs or your own sandals. You just have to make sure they're this plastic material or not plastic, but the kind of rubbery material. 
So we are going to take you outside and let you watch the process of tie-dyeing. Or not tie-dyeing, but... It's basically tie-dyeing your shoe. Yeah, it basically is tie-dyeing your shoe. So let's get to that. See you outside. All right, guys. So we are going to put gloves on, first of all, because we don't want our hands being tie-dyed. Or I don't. Miss Rocha might. I don't know. Not really. So we have six colors here. Miss Rocha has red. And then we also have a royal blue, lavender, kind of a, a seafoam green, coral, and gray. We're going to start off with the middle bucket. So Miss Rocha has the red. So Miss Rocha, if you would shake that till you can hear the little ball in there. I hear it. All right. So then I need you to spray that in there at a 45 degree angle for five to 10 seconds. All right, so there's the red. Next, we're gonna use the blue. This is gonna be a patriotic pair. It's past 4th of July, but you can never be too patriotic. All right, so here's the blue. I didn't shake it. All right. First shoe. All right, here we go. Just At five to ten seconds. Right. Forty-five degree angle. Okay, going in. Move this. Move the paint on the side. Okay. Cute. What do you say about the snot? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two. So you can see that the paint is not actually mixing in with the water. It's kind of just making a film on top. So this is actually part of the hydro dipping process, water transfer processing. And then we'll pull it out. I'm not going to move it away just because I want to see what it looks like. Oh. It's kind of like a marble print. That's pretty nifty. So here we have our first pair of Crocs. So what we're gonna, or sandals actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these dry for 24 hours and then we're actually gonna spray them with a fixative, kind of a clear coat to seal them so that color stays in there. All right, so Miss Rocha is gonna do her pair of shoes. This was kind of our joint pair of shoes. And so she's gonna pick her colors and pour them into her bucket or spray them into her bucket, might I add. Good thing we wore gloves. Oh, that's a pretty lavender. Forty degree, right? Forty five, yeah. Forty five. And let it sit there for a few seconds. And then you can pull it up. Oh. That's a pretty purple. Why is it snotty though? <laughs> Oh, 
cute. They're kind of giving me like a marble vibe. So there's shoe one. All right, here's the second one. Cute. So really with hydro dipping, you can use any kind of three-dimensional object because that's what water, water transfer processing is, printing. Um, is you are just taking whatever you are putting on the top layer, so the paint, and emerging it into your base, which is the water, and it is printing onto your object. So like I said, you can do this with any kind of 3D object, really. Um, Ms. Rocha said she saw somebody do it with vans, bicycle helmets, we just did it with shoes. Um, so yeah. So the next part in this process is we have to let these dry for 24 hours and then we will spray them with a fixative, um, kind of a clear coat to kind of protect them and then we will show you the final product. of hydro dipping our shoes and I think they turned out pretty good. So we sprayed them with a fixative which is just an acrylic or latex based clear coat. It kind of protects them even further to keep the paint on, keep it from chipping, things like that. It will chip in some spots but for the most part it's not really going to come off. So here's pair one. This is my pair. Um, I like how it turned out. I wish there was a little bit more blue or this isn't really blue, more like the, the teal, but I like them. And the bottoms um, did not turn any color because we used that masking tape. So you can use that masking tape anywhere on the shoes to kind of block out where you don't want paint or where you may want a specific color. So, and then Miss Rocha's, I really like Miss Rocha's to be honest. It's giving me like mermaid vibes. Yeah, I like lavender and this teal, and then I thought gray would go well with them. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is a pair we had an extra of, so we are calling this our patriotic pair. Um, one came out a lot more blue than the other, but that's okay. These are very um, eccentric and unique, and so I think that's what's cool about this process, is that you can make a pair of shoes that pretty much nobody else in the world is going to have. Yep. So. We also hydro dipped something else. We hydro dipped small beakers. Um, they turned out really well. We have some other ideas of things we want to hydro dip in our free time with all the extra spray paint. But yeah, this is those are cool. This is look really cute sitting on our desk. Yeah. So you can hydro dip anything: shoes, glasses, baskets, anything, chairs, cars, helmets, bikes. Whatever, whatever you want, you can hydro dip it. So this has been our hydro dipping video. Um, if you would like to try it yourself, we did use the Wikipedia article or the WikiHow article um, with the 12 steps on how to hydro dip. Please, please use parental supervision when you're doing this um, because there were a lot of fumes going around. I had a headache by the end of the day, so. Yes, I would suggest maybe a little gas mask <laughs> for yeah. next time. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a bit of a headache. Um, so other than that, I hope you're enjoying your summer. And if you decide to do something like that, take a picture, send it to us on Facebook, yeah, do something. See it. Yeah, we're, watch us on Facebook. We'll put some more pictures of our hydro dipping. All right, guys, we hope you have a great summer. Um, school's not too far away, which is kind of sad. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Yeah, if you go on any cool vacations, let us know, because uh, I have some FOMO. All right, well, have a good day, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.